Yeah, it is a little bit of a dreary day, but we are getting some much needed rain, even though those totals are really low, but we are going to see better days going into this week. A lot of sun, however, another chance of rain. This is a look at the drought conditions right now. You can see there is a pocket where they aren't experiencing those drier drought conditions, so we saw improvements across the state, but we still have moderate to even severe drought across uh, much of the state, so we still need that rain as we are going throughout the rest of this week. So I'll take you through future cast. We're going to be going into tonight. You can see by early tomorrow morning, there's going to be another round of showers, mainly north. So if you are going to be in the northern part of the state, expect to wake up to some rain on Sunday, and then it slowly starts to move out right before Sunday afternoon. Those clouds move out with it. We get to see sun on Sunday. We get to also see some sun on Monday as well. So we're going to have a couple of better days, but there is another chance for rain coming up on Wednesday. As far as how much rain we are looking forward, uh, looking forward to all the way all uh, up until Tuesday, you can see that there is just very small totals, maybe a tenth of an inch, a quarter of an inch in some places. So it's still not going to be a lot of rain, but it is going to be a little bit of something. As far as those temperatures go, we are still pretty much really above average. We're getting close to that 10 degree above average mark, even going into a new week, but we are going to be able to see these cooler temperatures once we get closer to the end of the month, because this is the next eight to 14 days. So we are still going to be seeing those warmer than average temperatures for a while, but things are expected to cool down right now. Those cooler than average temperatures are far off towards the West Coast. Still, they are still seeing those cooler temperatures and some of them are pretty much enjoying it because they get to really feel like fall out there too. Now tonight, 46 degrees for your low. There is going to be a chance to have some isolated showers, but for the most part, a lot of it is going to be move, uh, moving out, but it is going to be remaining cloudy tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll have a breezy start to our day, 58 degrees for your high, and we'll get to see that sun, but those clouds are going to be slowly moving out throughout the day, and we'll start out with some lingering showers up in the northern part of the state. Now, taking a look at the seven day, you can see we'll steadily warm up all the way back up into the 60s by next weekend. We have another chance for some rain on Wednesday. Good news about that. Looks like it's going to come in through the morning and move out by the afternoon, so don't expect a washout. And then as we go into the 10 days, our temperatures drop again. You can see that by uh, next week, we are going to be seeing those cooler temperatures again, but at least next weekend is going to be drier than the past couple of weekends we've had. So we are going to have a very nice and kind of a warm weekend next weekend, but this week's going to be pretty nice.